it's now time to start what I have been planning for the last few weeks which is to go in more in depth over the top teams in Europe. First what I did was to go over the top leagues in Europe so that's the Premier League, La Liga, Serie A, Bundesliga, the Portuguese League and League 1 and now I'll be looking at those individual teams, the top teams in those competitions and going over how they have been performing. We're going to start with the Premier League and the first team we're going to go over is Manchester United. In my preview for the season for Manchester United, I picked them to... Well, I didn't really put my expectations that high because I didn't believe that Oli was going to be able to take them that far. And unfortunately, something even worse happened. Oli, he had a terrible start to the season. Some of the players didn't perform up to par and he was let go off. And now with Ranić, um, they, see, they haven't lost a game yet, which is good. And they seem to be more on it per se um there's of course now this whole covid thing going down going on at manchester united but i won't talk about that i'll just be talking about the games which they have played and how they have performed and we're gonna talk about the premier league of course um the premier league is the only thing i'm gonna be talking about manchester united six, sit sixth in the premier league right now they have one less point than arsenal which have 29 points so if united win this next game which they have in hand they'll be in the top four with 30 points. But the problem is that if Tottenham also win their two games in hand, they'll be on top of Manchester United. United last season finished second. And a lot of people believe that this was going to be the season of the signings they made, that they'll be able to capitalise on that momentum and take their season a step forward. I personally did not believe that. I didn't believe that because... The number one thing which made me not um, ride that train was the fact that United didn't sign a defensive midfielder. A defensive midfielder which has been their main problem over the last few years. If they signed a defensive midfielder, I think that would have worked. And in fact, if you want to look at what happened with Ole and why he got sacked, that's one of the main problems. Constantly having to play Mac Fred in that double pivot really hurt the team performance wise and really hurt Ole and his reputation with the with the fans not in the whole he's a legend thing but in the terms of he's not capable as a manager that's why that's one of the main reasons why the narrative was so strong he just kept playing um, McFred time and time again if and to be fair you can't really blame him because yeah, you could have played Donny there, but is that really Donny's strongest position? And I'm sure Oli played Donny in training and that probably didn't work. That's why he didn't play Donny there. And then another thing is Matic. Well, Matic is one of the best midfielders over the last decade. But Matic, right now, he can't keep up that same performance. He's not in his prime anymore. And Matic is really an unreliable asset. Sorry. So that's one of the problems why... That's one of the problems and why I didn't believe Manchester United would be able to go that far this season but what has happened has been even worse than what i believed what have manchester united done well then um really i can't in the premier league what have they done well well they had a good start to the season i mean that's not even true manchester united have been poor that's it um and what have they done bad i mean their poor performances got the manager just sacked, so that's what they have done bad. The best player, the best player this season has to be Ronaldo. It, it was always going to be Ronaldo, and this man has just been proving it. With, with each and every game, with each and every big moment, whenever the occasion calls for it, why he's still one of the best players in the world. In the Premier League alone, in 13 games played, Ronaldo has scored 7 goals and assisted twice which brings him up to nine goal contributions in total. I believe that even with Ronaldo, Bruno was going to be able to keep, the, keep up the same performance. Maybe not be the best player, but, you know, give Ronaldo a run for his money. But that has not happened. Bruno has been poor. Um, another player which has been quite excellent for United is Varane, when he has played. Um, I think, I'm not, I'm not too sure, but... Out of the total games that Varane played, so that's a total of six games, he helped the team to two clean sheets. 
you know that I've had a terrible, terrible performance this season defensively. And two of the clean sheets in the Premier League came from Rafael Varane. Varane really bought that, I'd say confidence, that reliability. He bought that security to the defence which United have been missing. But again, Varane is injured and we don't really know when he's going to come back. Yeah, Ronaldo and they, and Varane have been the main players. I mean, probably performed well at the beginning of the season, but that has got, been going down. I don't want to talk about Fred. Um, Rashford coming back, he was quite good. Was like he has been quite good as well. But Rashford has been inconsistent. He had a good start for, back from his injury. But but from that, then you, of course, have Sancho and the whole, you know, saga from Sancho and him not being able to perform up to part yet. But as this is just a light review, what can United do moving forward to improve and to turn the season around? Well, first of all, United need to keep the sheep steady. And by ship steady, I mean Rannick for the next six months. Because this season, I don't think United are going to win anything else. Maybe the FA Cup, but that's about it. So if Rannick can keep this ship steady for the next six months, get in and a good not a good replacement my bad an excellent replacement because that's what United need a team a club of the caliber of Manchester United need the best in the business and that would be either Tan Hag or Pochettino that's that's a whole that's a whole another conversation for now what United need to do is keep the ship steady continue to get good results and hopefully get back in our top four where they deserve to be but not even deserve to be United should deserve to be in the top one top two as we as they have been accustoming their fans for so long but this is just the reality of the club right now i did pick them to finish fourth but they may just finish fifth as things are right now but anyways guys thank you very much for watching the video until the end if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis football history individual performances top tens etc this is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and help me to grow this channel.